All right, guys. So, like I said, we were literally like right across the street here. So, we're right back here. But uh, we're gonna check out the Abbeville Police and Fire Department. I was just letting you guys know that I'm going to be out here on your property just doing some video and photographs of the different uh, fire trucks and police cars. So I just want to let you guys know. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank right. you. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, so we uh, I'm not sure um, who the guy was but he was a police officer um, and we spoke with the secretary and they said okay. Um, they didn't seem to be alarmed or anything of that nature. So, cool. Um, again, there were no signs that said restricted access or no public entry, anything of that nature. So, got a Chevy Trailblazer and a Chevy Impala here. guys have a horrible tent job. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but it's horrible. It's so, Abbeville um, City Police, South Carolina. Uh, this is in Abbeville County. Doesn't appear they have many uh, vehicles. So this is a law enforcement vehicle here. You can see the lights in the grill. Um, so this is what me and Trey were speaking of. Um, last week when we did an audit so you can tell a mark cruiser here um it has the design on the side as well as it has the light bar on top the spotlight the push bar clearly distinguishable that it is a police department vehicle then you have vehicles like this that um don't have anything that uniquely marks it as a police department vehicle um, one would raise suspicion when they see the tinted windows, but that doesn't necessarily give you away because now vehicles come off of a lot start stock with the really dark tinted windows. Um, but if I look close enough, I can see the light bar inside of this vehicle. Um, but I mean, again, by the time you're close enough to see that, you're close enough for him to give you a ticket if you've done something wrong or, you know, um, they've got lights here in the grill but again if you're not paying attention you may think that's a reflection of the chrome rather than you know it being emergency lights so again uniquely uh, identifiable uh, clearly marked uh, we got, let's see what we got here. We got a 511 tactical hat and Abbeville City Police Department hat in the window here. So, cool.
so um, this here guys used to be the emergency alert system um, so that's how they used to be notified of uh, fire calls and paramedic calls they would sound that siren and it would actually sound like an air raid horn but that's how they would be notified so those of you that live in the city or the younger people that are following that may have never heard one or seen one before that's actually what that is so here we got a couple more cars not sure if these are not in service or what's going on with them but got quite a few back here Judging by the looks of uh, these, I don't think they're in use. Maybe this one and maybe that one, but those others definitely look like they've been here for a while. So guys, that's um, what we're saying when we say clearly distinguishable to determine that it's a law enforcement vehicle. Um, again, this one has a state tag on it. It could be a law enforcement vehicle. Um, I see absolutely nothing that clearly uh, marks it as a law enforcement vehicle. Um, there's no lights that are visible um, in the grill, anywhere inside. Doesn't have any tenant windows, so I would have reason to believe that it's probably just an admin vehicle. And here we have Abbeville Fire Department Ladder 6 sitting in the bay, ready to roll. My time with the police department, we def or with the fire department rather, we would have definitely had them um, back in uh, rather than pull in. That way, when he's got a merge to call, he's not having to try to maneuver through this parking lot. But, you know, after years and years of doing it, you get used to it. And he, he's probably capable. He's probably been the uh, driver for quite some time. So. I'm actually going to go in guys, this is, again, this is public property, so, this is squad 1921, uh, I'm pretty sure it just goes by squad, um, I do see, it looks like 1941, so it may be squad 1921, that is an awful lot to say. Um, they probably use this when they have like events around town and things like that. So. Almost every department um, here in the South has like this, I guess, trophy case of patches 
what it really stands for I have absolutely no idea but they have it so you know it is what it is so got the uh, fire chief that's turning in right now So I'm gonna do uh, one more walk through here, then uh, we'll be done. This is how, uh, here, this is how firefighters transport all of this equipment around um, inside one of those gear bags. This is a practice mechanism here for using the Halligan tool and uh, axe and different things to break break open braces on doors it's training as you can see they got Bruce through the fire dormy here this is used for confined space training um, the officers will go in full gear with their air tank or SCBA um, and then they will traverse through these different holes in the wall um, so yeah and for those of you that don't know a SCBA is a self-contained Breathing apparatus, SCBA, self contained breathing apparatus. Cool. How you doing? All right, how are you? Great. I'm, I'm just doing some video. Oh. Um, question for you. Yes, sir. It's been a minute. SCBA is what you guys wear on your backs, correct? That's for correct. oxygen. Self contained breathing apparatus, that is correct? correct. I, see, guys, I told you I was right. I had to make sure. It's been a while. Well, we got some brand new ones in the truck up there. It's got thermal imaging built in. Oh, yeah? You mind if I see? Come on. Find one of the guys right here. Is the engine up there? No, it's not. No, that's, they're out in the engine. I'm okay. Sorry. Okay, you're yeah, fine. If you want to come back by, um, they'll show you the new ones. We just got them in a couple weeks ago. Cool. Um, so they have thermal 